Michaela here back for another got to life to update today i'll be showing you guys feature you wish got to life 2 had that's right i asked you all from my other other video what kind of features do you guys wish got to life 2 had i saw some comments about it and picked out some of your guys comments on what kind of features you guys wish got to life 2 had and in this video i'll be showing you guys what if those features were in got to life 2 but before i begin the video comment down below on what you think of this video to get a chance to be featured on my next video i'll be putting the featured comments by the end and if some of you guys commented on my last video keep watching until the end to see if you got into the featured comments in this video anyways without further ado let's start the video all right so for the first feature i've seen a ton of comments saying <clears throat> mr white please read this out for me adjustable sleeves. The up naked is nice. I would also like if we could make adjustments to the arm sleeves. So if we go to the upper category in Gotcha Life 2, we see that shirt length and jacket length are the only ones with the adjustment option. Meanwhile, the ones with no adjustments are the shirts, jackets, and sleeves. And I think that adding adjustments to the sleeves would be awesome because look at all these amazing sleeves that we could use and what more if we could also adjust them. We'll be able to create a lot of more creative clothes if we also had sleeve adjustments. So I think that having adjustments for the sleeves are awesome. But Kayla, what about shirt adjustments and jacket adjustments? I want to be able to adjust my shirts and jackets too. Well, for the jacket adjustment, I think that being able to adjust your jacket would be awesome. Being able to adjust your jacket would definitely make more creative clothes. But for the shirt adjustment, I think that it would also be nice if we could adjust our shirts. But if this feature were to fall into the wrong hands, it could end up bad. So I think this feature would be awesome. But it could also be awful if the person using it uses it for a bad reason. So I'm just neutral on this. Anyways, next comment. Mr. White, please read this for me. I love this video. Anyways, I wish they were fading back to life too. And different features to select the hands. And how you'll be able to adjust them. So if you go to the body category and check out the poses there, the only parts that we could adjust are the arms, hands, legs, and torso, and head. And I think it'd be interesting if Looney were to add feet adjustments and feet gestures. <laughs> I guess feet adjustments would work like the shoe adjustments. Something like this, but imagine it as a foot. Something like that. What do I think of this feature if Looney were to add it? Hmm, it's cool. If this feature were to get added, I think this would be helpful for animators that animate full body. And for people that likes making their own custom poses. Adjusting the feet could also help change the perspective of your pose. So I give this a awesome. Anyways, I've also gotten some comments asking about the Discord contest. Am I allowed to join the contest if I don't have Discord and I do it on YT? Sorry guys, but you also need Discord to join the contest. Anyways, what do you guys think of the features that were shown in the video? Would you want these features in Gotcha Life 2? Or maybe you guys have other features in mind that you would love to tell in the comments? If you do, then comment down below. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, tell me if you guys want more videos like this in the future. Anyways, before I end the video, let's see if I can pull myself in Gacha Simulator. From the past few videos I've made, I've always tried pulling myself by the end of the video, but I always end up not pulling myself. And I'm also running out of gems too. This is just gonna be a short video of me pulling myself. Gosh, and I still haven't gotten a six star. Does the Gacha Simulator hate me? I haven't got it myself, it's been weeks. Please at least give me a 6 star before I lose all these gems. Uh oh, I'm running out of gems. I guess I'm not... Oh! A 6 star is this? Oh, it's not me. Well, at least I tried. Anyways... That's 
all for today and i hope you all enjoyed watching but before you go please don't forget to like comment and subscribe because from now on i'll be doing more gacha life 2 content and if any update ever comes in gacha life 2 i'll always update you guys about it so turn your notifications on so that you guys will be notified whenever i post an update about gacha life 2 and if you haven't downloaded gacha life 2 yet you can check the description down below Anyways, that's all for today. Thank you all for watching. Bye guys and bye Meek Squad. I'll see you guys again in my next video. So tell me in the comments down below what kind of content you guys want me to make. Got you like too many movies, skits, or maybe story times? If so, tell me in the comments down below what kind of movies you guys want to see from me. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Also, don't forget to follow my Instagram at MikaelaYT, please. And of course, before I end the video, these are the featured comments from my last video. Thank you all for your kind comments. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much, Night Jam Jammy, for this amazing gift. I really like how you made my two OCs pose together. And I also really like how you edited it. Thank you so much for this amazing fan art. Anyways, back to the featured comments.